here are my standout favorites for Miss Columbia 2020 or is it 2021? I don't know how they're organizing it this year. I don't know what the exact title is, but this will be the woman to earn the spot, earn the right to represent Columbia at Miss Universe. I'm gonna forewarn you, these are basically my standout favorites, the girls who have been catching my eye. I don't know a lot in depth about each girl, which has been part of my hesitation for making this video, but I see the request over and over again, so let's just do it. This is in no particular order. One of the girls on my list is Barbara Rodriguez. She is representing C-U-A-C-A. -A. Her walk is incredible. I love her hair. I love the highlights. It just obviously has a lot of volume that you cannot miss. Such a standout feature of her. It really makes her have that wow factor that you do a double take. Never mind her beauty, her walk, her presence. She is one of my favorites. Bolivar, Bolivar, I can't remember what her name is, but she has a super confident walk. She is absolutely beautiful. This seems to be a very strong batch of women. Columbia always really brings it at Miss Universe. They really bring it internationally, so I'm not surprised, but like there's a lot of incredible women here and it's gonna be really interesting to see who ends up taking the crown. This woman is from Cartagena, Cartagena Mare. She is like a golden girl, golden goddess. Her skin literally glows in her photos. She's absolutely gorgeous. She just has this, I guess like girl next door Barbie look. So beautiful, I love her. I really feel like she could go far in the competition. Again, I don't know much about her, what her background is, what she does. I'm just basically basing this off of all their walks that I've seen, their presence, their Instagram. Now I have, I don't know how to say it, S-A-N-T-A-N-D-E-R. All I have in my notes is wow. I don't know how to say it, I'm so sorry you guys, but her face is absolutely beautiful. I love it, unique, gorgeous, stunning, amazing. Now we have Juliana Franco representing Meta, Meta. She is so stunning with her dark hair, her light eyes. She absolutely gives me the Natalie Globova aura, Natalie Globova vibe. She was also Miss Earth Water 2017 and Miss Earth Columbia 2017. So she represented Columbia at Miss Earth. So she has proven to us that she can compete internationally very strong. I have no doubt that she could potentially take the title of Miss Columbia to represent Columbia at Miss Universe. Catalea Candelo representing Putumayo. She is so amazing, absolutely wonderful. Like, I feel like all these girls, they just, they're incredible. They are truly, truly incredible. Now we have Carolina Londono representing Anto, Anto, I don't know how to say it. A N T I O Q U I A. Seriously, she gives me Barbie vibes. She has like fairy like features, very delicate features. She literally has a picture kind of like walking or like running through like a forest or something. She's a dancer, teacher, model. She's one of the only girls I know a little bit more about. Now I have pa Paula Kazarzan from Casanar. Beautiful face, love her hair, lots of volume. We love to see that. We love to see women rocking their more natural look, natural hair, because when we see that, I feel like it allows other women around the world to feel confident in their own skin, their own natural hair, whatever it may be, to really just bring out who they are rather than feeling like they need to change to kind of like be accepted, feel beautiful, etc. There's nothing wrong with wanting to change things, enhance things, whatever it may be to make you feel confident, but I feel like when we see other people confident in their own skin or with their natural hair, it gives us the confidence to do the same. Now we have Chaco. She gives me major Barbie vibes. I forget her name as well, but she is stunning. And then last on my list for today is Alejandra representing Rissal, Rissal, oh my God, R-I-S-A, a L D A. She is probably one of the most photogenic contestants in the competition. I think she is so beautiful. Love her look, love her vibe. She's amazing. And honestly, there are so many other girls. I, I can't even remember who it is now, but she has like an electric smile. Her smile just lights up her face. It is so beautiful. Is it on my, where is she? Anyways, let me know who is your favorite in the comments for Miss Columbia 2020. It's gonna be very interesting to see who wins the competition because there are so many strong girls. I cannot wait to see what happens. The competition happens on Monday. Today, it's actually technically Sunday now, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to come up with another 
final favorites or anything so this is basically my standouts before the competition so maybe there's a girl not on this list who's going to win the title that could absolutely happen but let me know if you feel like any of these women that I mentioned in this video could win the title of Miss Columbia who's your favorite let me know in the comments and of course you guys can always hit subscribe to see more videos from me another exciting thing happening on Monday it's not only Miss Columbia but it is the launch day of my podcast so freaking exciting so so exciting we are launching on monday november 16th i can tell you now my podcast name is universally judged i am so excited we have so many amazing guests you will see on a vlog coming up i'll just tell you now that i actually got to interview and chat with Pia Wurtzbach, the new Miss Universe Australia, Maria Thatil, Olivia Jordan, Miss USA 2015, and so many other amazing, inspiring, incredible women from around the world. You guys are not going to want to miss it, so if you're not subscribed now, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell so that you will be able to see all those podcast episodes right here on my YouTube channel. You will also be able to listen to the podcast anywhere you already listen to your favorite podcasts. So exciting, I cannot wait. So you can watch the footage here. You'll be able to see the interview, for example, with Pia and I chatting. You'll be able to listen to it on your podcast if you prefer to listen. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, for tuning in, your support, your likes, your comments, everything means so much to me. It's, I just, I cannot thank you enough for the support that you show me with every single video. I'll see you guys next time.